Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to my kitchen, or welcome if you are new. I am Denise, and tonight for dinner, I am going to make an Italian grinder sandwich, a hoagie. So I need to thinly slice some of this purple onion. I'm just going to make enough of the grinder salad for the two hoagies that we'll be eating. And now I'm going to slice up this lettuce. Go do a little. Okay, that looks like it'll be good. I'm getting this done up now so I can put it in the refrigerator and let it get all good and cold and flavors all happy together. And now I need some of these pepperoncinis. I'm going to do up a few of these. Dice them up. Add them to the bowl. And now I need, I'm going to do maybe a third of a cup of mayonnaise. and a splash of red wine vinegar. Salt and pepper. Need a little bit of minced garlic. a quarter teaspoon and a couple pinches of dry oregano and some Parmesan cheese And some of the juice from these peppers. I'm going to stir all this together. All right, and I'm going to pour this over the lettuce and onion. Give it a good stir. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator until we make our sandwiches. And along with the sandwiches tonight, we are going to have waffle fries. So I will bring you back when we build the sandwich. Okay, friends, I have our waffle fries in the oven, and they are just about done. So I'm using these Petridge Farm hoagie rolls we got this weekend. And to that, some bacon in the fridge. Pop that in the microwave. I'm gonna add some bacon to our hoagie. Very hot. And we're going to put some sliced cheese on it. Put that right on top of the bacon. 
And I have some pepperoni here. This is just the pizza pepperoni. It ain't your sandwich. And we have some salami. Okay, our fries are looking good. I'm going to shut the oven off and just leave them sit in there. Now I have some smoked turkey breast. Okay. I already scrubbed this tomato. our waffle fries. I'm going to sprinkle some potato ole seasoning on these because I have it. Give that a quick stir. Okay, now for the star of the show, the grinder salad. This is the lettuce and purple onion, banana peppers, all the good stuff. If you've never had one of these before, I highly recommend them. I've made them at least one other time on this channel. And they are so good. Get some waffle fries on here. And there you have it, friends. Grinder salad sub sandwich and waffle fries. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, friends. Happy Monday. Tonight for dinner, I am going to fry up the last of this Potatoes O'Brien that I have here. These are the ones that I prepped up a couple weeks ago. Olive oil. So while these are frying, I'm gonna dice up some of this Smithfield Anytime Ham. I'm gonna add that to the pan after the potatoes are done. And then I'm going to scramble some eggs and add them to the pan. Okay, my potatoes, O'Brien, are pretty much done. And I'm going to add the ham. Let's get toasted up a little bit. I'm going to scramble probably four eggs. Add a little drizzle of milk. Some salt and pepper on this. And push down some bread for the toast. Push some cheddar cheese on there in a little bit. We'll have some great.
Oh, them are good ones. Drop some cheese on here. These will finish it off. want butter toast with mine. He's going to have his on a sandwich. All right. Cheese is looking nice and melted. His on his sandwich. is our quick simple dinner for tonight ham egg and cheese with potato o'brien and toast and we'll have grapes with this we'll see you tomorrow good afternoon friends tonight for dinner we are having barbecued meatballs that I had down in the freezer. My husband put them in the oven this afternoon. And I'm going to chop up this lettuce and we're just gonna have a nice little salad with it. Nice, simple dinner tonight. Of course, all my dinners are simple after work. We have lettuce there. Put some onion on it. And some sharp cheddar cheese. And some zesty Italian croutons. Barbecue ranch or buttermilk ranch. And creamy French. And there's the meatballs. They look good and hot. And I'm going to have some more grapes with this. And that is our quick, simple dinner tonight. Homemade barbecue meatballs and a salad with some grapes. We'll see you tomorrow.
Good afternoon, friends. Tonight for dinner, I am making a homemade hamburger helper and my semi-homemade garlic bread. I found a jar of pasta sauce in the freezer that I'm using, along with some more traditional great value pasta. And I got about a half a pound of cooked hamburger here. And I'm going to add some onion to it. And some of this tomato chicken bouillon. I'm going to add a teaspoon of this to a cup of water. Let's turn this on. In my garlic bread, I get that pre-sliced French bread at Walmart, and then I just put garlic butter on it, and shredded mozzarella cheese, and a little bit of Italian seasoning, and then I stick it in the freezer until we're ready to need, ready to use it. And I'm going to add about two cups of small shell pasta. I'm going to let this boil for about nine minutes until them pasta shells are tender. And then these are going to go in the oven until they're toasty. I'll bring you back when we plate up. Okay friends, our dinner is ready. my semi-homemade garlic toast. And a homemade hamburger helper. This stuff is so good. It's different pretty much every time I make it. some grapes again. There it is. That's our quick simple dinner for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon friends. Happy Thursday. Tonight is our leftover night. If you've been here long enough you know that already. I heated up a couple pork chops that we had on the George Foreman grill and our cowboy beans and we're going to eat on the grapes again and we're Heinz 57 steak sauce people and there it is quick and simple dinner for tonight Leftover pork chops and cowboy beans. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, friends. Tonight for dinner, I am making tomato soup. So in here, I need to melt three tablespoons of butter.
And then I need to add chopped onion, one onion's worth. Okay, my butter's melted, so now I'm gonna add an onion. I'm using purple onion, because that's what I have ready to use. Now I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. A half a teaspoon of dry basil leaves. And a tablespoon of dry oregano. I'm going to cook this until the onions are slightly browned. I'm going to add about three cloves of garlic. Okay, now I'm going to add in a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. and a 14.5 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes. Oh, and I need four cups of chicken broth. So I'm just going to dump in four cups of water. And about two tablespoons of this broth-based chicken-flavored bouillon. Because it takes two teaspoons per cup. I am going to let this simmer for about 45 minutes and then I will bring you back for the next step. Okay, this tomato soup has been simmering for about 40 minutes. So now I just shut off the heat And I'm going to take my immersion blender after it and get it as smooth as I can. All right, let's take a look at this. Well, I'm not seeing any big chunks of tomato in there. So I'll call that good. Now I'm going to put in one cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna put the lid on this. It'll stay hot while I make our grilled ham and cheese. I'm going to use Velveeta. And my husband will eat two sandwiches. I'll eat one. Yeah, that's better. Put 
some Velveeta cheese on here. And some smoked ham. Okay, our grilled ham and cheese sandwiches are done. And the tomato soup. I've made this soup on my channel before. It is very, very good. I don't think I've bought and canned tomato soup since I started making this. There it is. Homemade tomato soup along with the grilled ham and cheese. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, friends. Tonight for dinner, I am making easy Swiss steak. I need to get my skillet heated up with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And here I have my brown steaks. I'm going to salt and pepper them. Now I need to dredge them in flour. I'm also going to salt and pepper the flour. I need to add some more olive oil to that. in the flour. Put them in the pan. I'm going to sear these for about five minutes on each side and then I will bring you back. Okay, our steaks have been searing for five minutes on each side. <clears throat> I'm going to remove them. I'm going to add about another tablespoon of olive oil. I have a half an onion here that I have sliced up. I'm going to cook these for a few minutes. I also need one cup of beef broth. Got a cup of water here. And I need two teaspoons of this beef flavored broth base. That's going to make my beef broth. Now I'm going to add about one clove of garlic to the onions.
Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste that I took out of the freezer. And I'm going to add this beef broth. and a can of diced tomatoes. I am not going to drain this. I need some Italian seasoning. About a teaspoon. and a half a tablespoon of the W sauce. You always wanna shake this up to get all that flavor off the bottom. That's the W sauce. And I need a half a tablespoon. All this mixed up good then I'm gonna put them steaks back in and I'm gonna cover it and we're gonna let it simmer until the steaks are cooked and tender and while these are cooking I'm going to Peel and dice potatoes. And I'm going to get those cooked and mashed. Just going to put all this goodness over the steaks. Turn this down to a simmer, cover it, and then when these are getting close to being done, I'll boil up potatoes and get them mashed. We'll see you when we plate up. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay. All right, our dinner is ready. I mashed the potatoes already. Our Swiss steak is looking amazing. Nice and tender. Put some of this gravy on here. And the mashed potatoes. I hope I made enough to go with tomorrow night's shepherd's pie. That was my plan on cooking this many potatoes. A little bit of this on there and there you have it that is our dinner tonight Swiss steak and mashed potatoes I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you part of my YouTube family we'll see you on the next one bye